They've seen a sharp rise in the numbers of people struggling to feed themselves, even those who are in work. Yeah, one woman in her 50s walked 10 miles in the pouring rain just to be able to eat. From Barrow, here's our correspondent, Elaine Wilcox. I don't know what it is. You're getting, you're getting they rely on donations to help people to eat. This food bank in Barrow is seeing more ordinary families who don't have enough money for basic meals. Estelle Kirk has used the food bank twice after her disability benefits were delayed. She needs to eat when she takes vital medication. Basically, it stopped me going in hospital, the food bank did. It fed me so I could have my tablets. And because of the nature of me being ill, it could have saved my life. The Trossel Trust is now opening two food banks across the country every week because of a record number of people going hungry. In Barrow, it's helped feed 268 adults and 75 children in the last four months alone. A single person is given three days' worth of food, which for many has to last a week. One of those who used the food bank is a woman in her 50s from Ulverston. She couldn't afford the bus fare home and had to walk back the 10 miles carrying heavy bags of food. You feel very choked up and, and sometimes our volunteers feel quite inadequate and useless at the end of the shift and I need to remind them that we may not have solved their problem but at least we've given them food. Reverend Gary Krigian says many of those with jobs here are struggling too and he fears that will only get worse as the cuts continue. Actually, we're finding more and more that these are families who are trying their best, but whose jobs uh, do have a low wage and it isn't sufficient to actually give them the very basics of life, which most of us take for granted. The staff here are expecting to be even busier after the Chancellor admitted the economy is still struggling and announced a further squeeze on benefits. Elaine Wilcox, Granada Reports, Barrow.